guys, DJ Onyx, and today I think we're ready for another lesson. Let's just go ahead and take on their uh, thinking caps and buckle right in. Okay, keep up on. neither. Uh, Billy, did you invite anybody else? Uh, I don't, I don't think so, Mom. Hi, uh, can I help you? I don't think so, Mom. I think we have everyone right here. He's got me, yous, papas, mamas. And we got bros. And that's how we, we got all of those, you know? Yes, I'm I'm looking for someone. A boy. <laughs> a boy. Didn't get a chance to name him. He looked like me. And today's his birthday. What do you mean looks like you? We see everyone equally around here, Missy. Okay? We have no judgment in our hearts. We accept everyone. So what do you mean looks like you? Because we're all familiar here. Mom, uh... Is everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can tell by your eyes. Um, it's your 16th birthday, right? Yeah, freaking. You didn't bring me any presents, so why are you here, buster? Mama, who is this lady? What, why did you let this woman into your house? Some unknown woman comes to your house and you're like, come on in. Come, come right on in. Heck yeah, we're having a party. I got all my friends, I got all my loved ones inside my home. I don't know you, you could be dangerous, but why don't you come on in and introduce yourself, stranger? I wouldn't do that. I'd answer through my, you know, my camera on my doorbell and I'd be like, who is you? What do you need from me? What do you want? I'm your birth mom. We're about to die, No, right? no. Uh, um. That's such a twist, I didn't see it coming. Who would have known? Who would have thought? You can't be my mom. <gasps> my mom's right there. You see that beautiful blonde-eyed, blue-eyed woman? She gave birth to me. Keep it. <laughs> I don't, don't, I don't know why I did this. Just ignore it, all right? That, that means nothing. <laughs> and that lady gave birth to me right there, not you. Right on the on the front steps. What is she talking about? No, hey, we were having a great time before you showed up, so just just please, ladies, just go, just go before we call the cops, okay? Oh, please, please. No, no, I, I don't, don't want to talk to you. Hey, everything all right? I think you should leave. We always noticed there was something a little different about him. Maybe it was. <laughs> you know, maybe it was the way he combed his hair, or. <laughs> the way you, I, I don't know. This is, we couldn't put our finger on it, all right? Also, why would you go and just drop in on someone like that? You're like, you know what? For his 16th birthday, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this bomb on the head just in case he couldn't figure it out. We found you in a box on our porch when you were a newborn. Why didn't you just tell me that when you, when you told me I was adopted? Because we knew you would have so many questions about it and we just... We didn't have any answers. And we How could you let me live this life for so long? How could I be fooled? How did I not see the signs? It's like they were all around me. There was no flavor in the food. I knew something was <laughs> You are our son. And nothing is ever going to change that. I don't think it would be a bad idea to talk to Crystal. What are you kidding me? No, I don't, I don't want to talk to that lady. I hate to say it, honey, but she looked like she was homeless. Who knows what she's been through? Who cares? Who cares? Am I homeless? Because I, you think I'm gonna give this up? No. Sucks for her. She made her choice 16 years ago. I'm staying here in my loving family, right here in this comfy bed, right next to my drawn creeper, my drawn creeper poster. I love Minecraft. So all the cool kids play. You see, Dream. Dream plays Minecraft. And you think Dream got to where he's at by cheating? Uh, no. All right. He got to where he's at by not showing his face and playing Minecraft, stupid. Learn something. I mean, what What mother leaves her newborn baby in a, a box? But for all she knew, she could have been dropping me off a, a, a psychopath's house, but, but she, she didn't care. Well, honey, there are two sides to every story. And I'm sure she would love to tell you hers. You're right, Mom. I'm sure she would. Problem is, I don't care. I DC. Let me guess, Laser. Unless it's something cool, it, it better be something cool. Like, I was running 
from the, the Mexican gangsters. I had to run with Dominic Toretto and his gang, and I couldn't take you on the cool car rides with me, so I had to plant you somewhere safe. It ain't something like that! I don't care. I don't want to know. No reason will ever be good enough. Can you guys leave me alone? I just want to go to bed. We love you so much. I say I won't be left alone, Mom. Shut up. And don't forget we're leaving early for church in the morning. The Bible says... Excuse We're leaving for what? It's Wednesday. <laughs> I thought I had all the way till Sunday. Come on, man. You know, for the sake of everyone's feelings and just in case, we're going to go ahead and skip this part. Mainly because I've had enough of church <laughs> in, in my long time. I, I used to... Okay, listen, you guys. I don't know if you know about this about me. I bring it in a little digital mix bonding time here. Uh, I used to go to church all the time. And when I say all the time, yeah, Wednesdays too sometimes, unfortunately. And it's all cool and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty much over it. Going from a young age and uh, you want to know who one of my favorite superheroes was? It was Bible Man. You know who Bible Man is? You know, that dude started off like Bruce Wayne. He had it all. But you know what he didn't have? The love of Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's looking out. <laughs> it was crazy. Turned into Bible Man, and when when he was beating you down, when he was crippling you, he, he was spreading the good word. And then he got a laser sword somehow, and it was crazy. So let's just go ahead and uh, keep watching. Hey. Hey, man. You you okay? Not yet. But I will be. I wish I could. I wish I could, you know, look cool like that. Hey man, I ain't doing too hot. Do looking like you're about to sing a song right now. Listen, I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Listen, we can cut ties to all the lies that you've probably been living in. And if you don't want to see me again, I would understand. That's okay. Life would be much easier for everyone if I did. I Plus, I wouldn't have to live with this guilt. What'd you do? What guilt? My wife always told me not to let him play in the front yard. Man, this is a heavy episode, darn man. Come on. You, I, I got done goofed by the scary video with no ghost in it. And now this one's super heavy video. Darn man is sitting there writing this script like, mm. That one brings a tear to my face. Ooh, darn man, you, darn man, you beautiful devil, you did it again. <laughs> mm, that's why daddy makes the big bucks. <laughs> oh man, that's why my name's on the studio. <laughs> I told my wife he'd be fine. I was it's right there in the fine. driveway watching him. But I took my eyes off him for one second to look at my phone. And the next thing I know, I see him lying in this tree. I'm like, oh my God. Is he okay though? Listen, it's okay to make jokes about this. It's not real, it didn't happen. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> fix my, fix my little swoop I got going on. My wife hates me. She's never gonna forgive me, never. Huh, hey, no, no, you, you, don't, you don't know that, okay? She, you just, she just needs time, okay? Would you forgive me? I don't even know you, sir. I'm just trying to listen to Olivia Rodrigo right now and you throwing off the whole mood. I guess I would. My guy, accidents happen every day. It ain't your fault. You thought everything was good and it wasn't. You can't control, you're not a superhero. You're not the fastest man alive, all right? You couldn't have done anything differently. And if you could have, I'm sure you would have. Sometimes things happen that are out of our control. That's just the way the crooked crumbles, unfortunately. Dang, Digital, that's pretty good. Shut up. That's right, I didn't think so. Wait, get out! Going. What are you doing? Get down from there. I'm sorry. Hey, he's right there! I just know that you hate me. I didn't know what else to do. You haven't talked to me in weeks. Hey, you made it seem like he wasn't even on this planet anymore. Kids right there in crutches. What are you crying about? I don't hate you. I'm just... 
very upset. But that doesn't mean you can do something like this. I went to church today. Ugh. And I've decided to forgive you. Yeah? You learned all that there? Did you know you didn't have to go there to be a good person? You could have just done that on your own? But you know. Raise the roof to the big man. Oh man, I am on something this uh, this episode. I apologize, everyone. Don't we love you so much? Well, I love you so much. Dad Junior. You guys are my everything. Come on, bud. had a family thanks thank you magical bridge for reminding me i can only guess that this episode is brought to you by the word forgiveness that's right according to them you don't always get a second chance at it i blinked out i literally i literally just my the matrix broke for me all right i couldn't think of anything to be forgiveful for i forgive my wife i forgive her for not knowing when i'm hungry and exactly what i want and then she just throws yogurt at me and calls it a day i forgive her for that you know she's trying <laughs> oh jeez. oh jeez, rick you sure you're ready for this yeah yeah sure let's go <sighs> I thought of something that you guys can forgive me for. Listen, I'm gonna need your guys' forgiveness when I buy Harry Potter and I cast the most vile, unforgivable spells on people in that school. Ooh! You guys know how much I be casting spells in these videos? I'm kidding, of course. Uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, have you hey, no, Billy, seen this? Maybe this isn't the best idea. Yeah, honey, I'm, I'm sure she'll show back up at the house at some point. Excuse me, have you have you seen this woman? Have you seen this woman? No? Okay, that's good. I don't want anyone else laying eyes on her. She's very precious to me. She waited 16 years, guys. <sighs> what if she does it? You try, right. two, you try two people. You try a little harder. Let's go. She Hold on, guys. This one always works. Mom! She'll come. Would you come looking for me? Do you mind if I come inside? Man, you just got the detail. Come on! Put your blanket down first. God, I hate this man. So you wanna know why? Why you gave up on me? Go ahead. Say so you see. Say say so you see because if you say that so you see i will throw you out of this car so fast that you won't be able to see how fast it is because it'll be that fast let me hear those words leave your leave your lips i know this is hard to believe okay off to a good start but i i i did it for you you see oh it wasn't even the whole thing that time it was a part of it oh you're okay Okay, I guess. Needless to say, my parents weren't too happy about that. As soon as they found out, they kicked me out of the house. I went to your biological father's house for help. But as soon as I told him he wanted nothing to do with me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Prove it. <laughs> Get out of here! I was homeless when I went into labor. I had no idea what to do. I was too scared to go to the hospital. The goddamn so, phone boxes are here. I ended up having you on the streets. That's some real strength, man. I don't, I don't know how you can do that. Kudos to all the women out there who, uh, who give birth because I don't think I could do it. Sometimes I go and go to the, the potty and I don't think I'm making it back out. All right? And so, <laughs> so you see, I'm making my peace right now. <laughs> I can barely take care of myself. I went into a nicer neighborhood and made the hardest decision I ever had to make in my life. So you see, I didn't leave you. Get out. You didn't leave me, but I'm about to leave you. Get out. Let's do it. Get out. I left you to give you a chance at a better life. I can't believe all that happened when you were, I mean, you were younger than me. No idea what I would do if I was in that situation. Well, I completely understand if you never want to talk to me again. Oh, thank 
God, I thought you were going to make this difficult. <laughs> and I thank you for taking care of him. I know I didn't go about it the best way. I was young. And I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just gonna... Wait. Wait. You forgot your sign that says you need money. Don't forget that. It's important. All homeless people don't need one. <laughs> I'm kidding, all right? Not toughing your guys' skin up, right? He's skin made out of steel. Clearly he's gonna, you know, I know he's gonna be like, this is what I would do. If I honestly was in that situation, this is how I would respond. I'd be like, listen, I can't imagine what it was like for you growing up. And having to do that, I couldn't even possibly begin to imagine myself in your shoes. I'm sure it was a hard decision and stuff like that, but I would like to get to know you more. You know, you're all, after all, you're my biological mom. These, this is, these are my parents, but I would like to get to know you more if that's okay with you. And there you go. Boom, bam, redeemed. You're welcome. All is right in the world. I think we still have some leftover, cake. You offer her cake? You like, Give this woman a like steak. Yeah! All right, who wants some cake? Oh wait, let's uh, get a family photo first. Ah, okay. Hold on, um, Mama Crystal! Oh, I'm sorry, I was, I was in the restroom. Ooh, get in here, girl! <laughs> get in this family photo! We're doing a family photo! Come on. Okay. No! Oh. Oh, honey. Get out. Get out, you're done. You're done, get out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 17 years! I've been waiting for that chocolate cake. <laughs> it's fine, all right? I don't really like that flavor. Anyways, I'm more of a red velvet kind of guy. Um, <laughs> plus, I've I've learned recently that you don't always get a second chance of forgiveness. You learned that last year, shut up. I'm not gonna waste any time being upset. Okay, Buster Brown. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.